Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. It's an overcast, windy day here, folks, so we're going to give it our best shot. So if you love guns, if you're a gun owner, if you're a shooter, if you're a sportsman, if you are a hunter, etc., etc., you don't want to miss this video. So whatever you do, you hang around, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed, and you will like what I have to show to you today. But let's start off with the reading of God's Word. Somebody said, no, that's not really necessary for you to do that, and it's kind of inappropriate. Uh, no, it's just what the doctor ordered, okay? Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 9. Now, bear with me if it's windy, and I do apologize. The book of Psalms, chapter 9, and verse 10. He says, the wicked shall be turned into hell. Notice that, what a powerful statement that is. And all nations that do what? Forget God. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all nations that forget God. Now, I want to say this and be very brief here today. I believe this country used to be a godly God-fearing country, but it's not that any way. It's not that way anymore. Let me clarify that. It's anything but that, if you know what I mean. This country has turned its back on God and walked away and are currently doing their own thing. Now, have you ever thought about why this country is in such condition as it currently is? Have you ever given that any thought? Why is it like it is? Why is it the way it is? So many people have that question and they ask it and I simply have this to say to you. I believe the country is in the shape it's in mainly before they have mainly before I mean it's it's currently like it is because they have kicked God every kicked God out of everything that matters most come on you know what I'm talking about it started years and years ago when they kicked prayer out of school and they've kicked him out of just about everything else that you could imagine today I mean, we are living seemingly in a godless society. And it seems as if the more God is kicked out and we become such a godless society that it seems like this country has literally gone to hell. I'm talking about our environment, our, condi our living conditions and our uh, just surroundings, if you will. Seemingly everything just seemingly has collapsed and beginning to collapse and everything. God was kicked out of everything. Now, folks, there's a reason. There's a reason why situations are like they are, mainly because God has no place in people's lives anymore. And everything just seemingly has been turned into a living hell. Look at the conditions of our current state of mind, if you will, across this country. Look at the crime rate. Oh my God, just think about it. Uh, our major cities, many of them, are just like a third war, third world war zone. People are being killed seemingly for no reason at all. I remember looking at a video and millions of you will recognize the one that I'm talking about when I begin to tell you exactly what happened. I saw this video and then millions of you probably seen it too to where that this high school, where this young man came to school. And let me tell you, this was something that blew my mind. This kid was a big kid and he, 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 the teacher was leaving the classroom and he ran after that teacher and he attacked that young lady that was a teacher. He hit her just like a freight train would hit something. I mean, just like an out of control elephant that was charging somebody. He charged that young woman and he knocked her to the ground and he violently began to punch her and beat her. And I believe he beat her too she was unconscious 
no discipline. You take prayer out of the school. You take discipline out of the school. And what do you have? Chaos. You take God out of government and out of society. What do you have? What do we have? We've got chaos. 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 He beat that young lady, and I don't know if she survived. Listen, that is so sad. And people tried to pull, some of the other classmates tried to pull that big guy. He was probably, I think somebody said he was about 6'6". Six, six. And he charged that woman. You know why he charged that woman and beat her merciless like he did? Because the teacher took his Nintendo Switch. Can you believe that? That's why he did. I don't know if she's still alive. I'm sure. I pray to God that she is, that she's still alive. I just saw where he mercilessly beat that poor woman. And just because she took his Nintendo Switch. Many of you, do know, you don't know what a Switch is, do you? Let me tell you what a Switch is. Now, in my time growing up, I didn't know what a Nintendo was and certainly not a Nintendo Switch. But believe me, I knew what a Switch was. Here in the mountains of Kentucky, let me tell you, I was raised hard and I was raised with discipline, discipline, discipline. My parents taught me the right way. Thank God for that. They taught me the right way. They taught me discipline. You know what discipline does? If children are not disciplined by their parents growing up, and I know they call it child abuse. If children are not disciplined, what do you raise? You raise a bunch of idiots. Come on now. I'm telling you the truth. You can disagree with me, but that still don't stop me from telling you the truth. Children that are disciplined, not disciplined, I mean, many of them, they, they become, what can I say here? Really out of control and their minds are affected and they become crippled mentally a lot of the serial killers that we have known in the past in this country, many of them were psychotic and mentally ill. And I believe in many cases it's related to no discipline growing up. Discipline builds character. Discipline builds respect in a youngster. And it cannot even have respect for itself if it's not disciplined in the right way. Sure, you can do it in the wrong way, but I'm talking about the right way. This country here has no discipline. This country has no conscience anymore. It's, it's, it's literally a hell out there in the streets all across this country. And we have leaders. There ain't no common sense in Washington no more. We have legislators and leaders, and this current administ administration is totally chaotic and crazy. Listen, folks, I was taught respect, discipline, and I respect my elders, and I respect my people. I'm talking about you as a viewer. This country is turned into hell all nations that forget God. That means their very existence, their existence and their surroundings and everything that they touch is just turned into chaos. I mean, nothing works, nothing fits, nothing is right. Somebody said there was no cure for stupidity. And you know something? That's true. A lot of stupid people in Washington right now. God help us. God help us. The country is turned into hell. There's no, no restrictions on nothing. Violent crime. The innocent sometimes is punished to the max and the guilty go free. That's true. That's very true. The guilty go free. Listen, if you don't have God in your life and you're not living on a, under a discipline state of mind, give your heart to God, give your heart to God, live for him, 
don't worry about whatever don't worry about everything else falling apart and everything else being chaotic it's you that matters you that matters may the lord bless you today and i'm going to get right into my my gun may the lord bless you now let's show you a beautiful gun now look i've got it in a sock i've got it in a sock okay but lord you take your socks off every day let me show you what i've got take a look at that oh look at that that might give you a little bit of a clue oh let's do a little bit more here pull this sock off pull the sock off look at that 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 let's lay this right here and pull this right here take a look at this beautiful gun now look at that look at that i'm gonna just roll it out there very easy so you can see it so you can see that beautiful gun oh my goodness i can tell you that that is one awesome, awesome shotgun. I gotta show this to you both sides. Low oh, man, look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness, what in the world are you talking about? What is this? That is a Franchi. And many of you may call it a Franchi, but I'd call it a Franchi. I believe that is the correct name for it. That is a beautiful Franchi. SPA, yeah, 28 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. Model 48AL, model 48AL. Notice that. Now, I, like I say so many times, I don't, I don't have a huge amount of history to give to you with this gun or share with you about this gun, but I'm gonna tell you it is very, very popular. Very, very popular. And I'm gonna show you the basics here. Notice that beautiful, beautiful walnut stock. Now this gun is known to be very light, easy to maneuver, very effective and I can go on and on and on. It's got a 25.5 inch barrel on it. Now notice that. Yes, that is real walnut. Real walnut. Now it holds, it's plugged of course. It holds <clears throat> two in the mag and one in the barrel. So, I'm going to be shooting about three times here. But notice this beautiful gold inlaid design. Notice that. Now, of course, you know that Franchi, is, its parent company, is Benelli. It's made in Italy. Uh-huh. You know that? I'm sure you do. Now, notice this engraving. I have to show this to you, so let me point my finger here. This beautiful gold inlaid finish here. Beautiful gold inlaid trigger. Now I did tell you that it's semi-automatic. Yes, it is. But it's known for its rapid fire. It's known for its rapid fire. Originally created for the military police. That right there is some kind of shotgun. Let me tell you, it's very, very light. Now notice the balance of this gun. Look at this, I've got two fingers there. That's got a balance to it, unimaginable. But if you're a gun owner, like myself, you know what that really, really means. It's so light and versatile that you can carry that the entire day if you so choose to do so. And I'm gonna to say to you, it will not tire you out. Oh my goodness. It's known for its accuracy. Now this receiver right here, this bolt and of course the receiver, that is made from chrome 
molly steel. Beautiful chrome molly steel. That's right. Now, I believe, listen, I actually can tell you the truth. Judging by the weight of it, I don't know the exact weight, but it might weigh five pounds. It might. It might weigh five pounds. This gun is made to last. The parent company being Benelli. It's a sought after shotgun. And in many cases, when you look at it online, now I, I, I'm pretty sure you could probably find one of them, but some of the sites that I looked at sold out, sold out, sold out. But I'm gonna shoot three times. I give this gun, let me tell you, five stars, not a problem. Now I've not got it currently loaded, but that doesn't take very long, and I don't think YouTube appreciates me doing that. So I'm going to do it, but you're not going to see me do it, okay? But I, I cannot get over the weight of this shotgun and the construction of it and the shape of it. Take a look at that. And that beautiful walnut finish. It's also known to have very little recoil. And uh, trust me, I've shot the gun and I could shoot it like that right there with one hand, even like that right there with one hand, no problem, no problem. Very, very light recoil. It's known for that rapid fire action and trust me, you're gonna see it here in a few minutes. I'm gonna be shooting. So listen, look us up on Facebook, would you? Look us up on Facebook, we're on Facebook. We are on Rumble. Yes, we are. We are on Rumble. We're on Instagram, Truth Social, and we may be on a ton of other places before long. You never know. But listen, I have got a link in the box below that will take you to my Patreon page. Would you consider supporting this channel through Patreon to help us to maintain and to keep the ball rolling? As you very well know, YouTube has got a lot of rules and regulations. And if it's not, if it's not, you know, they can collect the ad off of it, you don't get a penny. You don't get a penny. If I told you what I made on YouTube, you would probably say, Kenny, I really don't believe you. But you know me by now that I'm not gonna lie to you. No, sir, I'm up front open and honest with you, my viewers. So check my Patreon page out and consider supporting this through Patreon, supporting this channel. Would you do that? And I certainly, certainly would be grateful to you. So enough said about that. Let's get right into this part where you like the most, and that's shooting this beautiful gun. All right, now folks, I'm shooting out there. Keep your eye on that target, okay? So let's do it. Three shots. Okay, let's start on the left. That is one awesome shotgun. Now listen folks, turkey season is coming up here very shortly. This is 28 gauge. What do you think this would do to a big gobbler if you had it in a 12 gauge? Now think about that. This is 28. It's ideal for duck, for pheasant, for turkeys, for any kind of waterfowl that you could imagine. Rapid fire. If you miss with this, oh my God, I don't know what could be wrong with you. Listen, this is available in a number of gauges. Just so happens it's a 28, but a 12. You, that big gobbler out there, oh my God, you could not miss with that. You could not miss with it. Worth every penny. So listen, if you're looking for something like this fancy shotgun, Check it out. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. So listen, there's just one thing left that you need to do. 
You need to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and ring that bell, hit that subscribe button, and I certainly would appreciate it. And as always, you have a blessed day. All right, folks, take a look at this. This is the first target that I shot. Look at that. Here is the second one. A little bit of content left in that, or liquid, I should say. Over here, look at this. Just split that jug right up the middle. Let me turn this camera around and say to you, <laughs> I want to say a special big shout out to my pal, Tanner. Tanner for making this video possible. Thank you, Tanner. That is a beautiful, awesome, awesome shotgun. I'm going to tell you something. That's a Cadillac. That beautiful, Franchi 28 gauge shotgun, it's a Cadillac. It's a Cadillac. You saw what it did to those milk jugs. Listen, folks. That's a Cadillac. I am serious. So thank you, Tanner.